Director's console. In Houston, everything looks good here on the ground. During our journey into space, we're going to visit three planets in our solar system. While we're there, we may be surprised to find that things are not always as peaceful as they seem. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. The only planets closer to the Sun are Mercury, Venus, and the Earth. Only Mercury and Pluto are smaller than Mars. When the Viking spacecraft flew over Mars and tried to take close-up pictures of the planet, the surface of the planet was covered by a huge dust storm, making the sky appear red from all of the red dust that was being blown into the atmosphere. These dust storms happen a lot, and their winds can get up to 200 miles per hour, and they last for weeks at a time. When the dust settled, the spacecraft sent back pictures from the air that showed several volcanoes. In fact, the largest volcano in the solar system is on Mars. It's called Olympus Mars and it's twice as big as Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth. Other aerial photographs included a group of canyons called the Valle Marineris, which would stretch all the way across the United States. There were also pictures of dry riverbeds. Scientists found this interesting because there's currently no water anywhere on Mars. They think that millions of years ago, these riverbeds contained water, and that it's possible that some form of life may have existed on Mars at that time. However, there's no evidence that life exists there now. The Viking spacecraft was finally able to land on Mars, and it started to sample the air and the soil and send back pictures of the Martian landscape. This is how scientists learned that the soil on Mars contained some of the same elements that are found in our deserts on Earth. In fact, Mars closely resembles the look of the Arizona desert. The only difference is that the Arizona desert's temperatures often exceed 100 degrees. The temperature on Mars is often a lot colder than our North Pole. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. The Great Red Spot easily identifies it. The spot is actually a giant swirling storm above the planet, much like a big hurricane. Smaller spots have also been seen moving across Jupiter. These two are hurricane-like storms. Astronomers have studied the spot for over 300 years and learned that its size changes occasionally. There have been times when the spot was slightly smaller than it is now, but still it's called the Great Spot for a reason. The spot is even larger than the Earth. The belts circling Jupiter are actually clouds that are rotating around the planet at different speeds. Voyager showed scientists that fierce electrical storms were occurring in, and probably under, the cloud belts. Jupiter has 16 moons, 
Some of them are shown here orbiting the planet in much the same way that our moon orbits the Earth. The moons are not traveling as fast as they seem to be in the video. This video is taken over a number of hours and then sped up. Jupiter also has a faint ring that is made of tiny dust particles, which are also orbiting the planet. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. More than a thousand Earths can fit inside the planet. In spite of its enormous size, however, Jupiter is actually quite small when it is shown next to the Sun. The Earth appears almost insignificant when shown near the Sun. In case you're wondering, the words that are hard to read identify the objects as Earth and Jupiter. The orange ball in the background is the Sun. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. Its rings make it the most recognizable planet in our solar system. Its rings are actually chunks of ice traveling around the planet. The chunks range in size from a couple of inches across to pieces that are as big as cars. Objects that are larger than this are torn apart. When Saturn's gravity fights against the forces, they're trying to pull the object away from the planet. Saturn has 18 moons. Nine of the moons were discovered with telescopes from the Earth, while the rest were discovered by Voyager and other spacecraft. Saturn's surface is mostly gas and water with a solid center. Scientists believe that Saturn is less dense than water. This means that if you could find a bathtub big enough to hold the planet, it would probably float like a cork. Though not as large as Jupiter, Saturn is still one of the giant planets. As you can see, it's huge when compared to the size of the Earth. The words on the screen identifying the planets say Earth, Saturn, and Jupiter. 